to the reel. Back out for the bass. Um, it's proper windy this morning. I am tucked out of it at the moment so that you can hopefully hear what I'm saying. Um, I feel like I'm a bit insane for what I'm about to try and do. But I'm going to go and fish in the surf for a bit. Don't know how long I'm going to last. Might not even be able to cast the rod because of the wind, let alone get the line out. Um, but we'll see what happens. If it doesn't go so well, um, I might move up to the estuary. But I can't imagine it would be much better there. But it's worth a shot. Um, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, let's get to it. So the wind was a bit, a little bit much. Um, it was only about five minutes and just thought this is, it's, I mean, it wouldn't work really. Um, the only way that I could really sort of approach it would be to wade out and then cast back to shore. But the, how far I'd have to wade out, I'd be chest deep in huge waves, well, not huge waves, but like proper choppy waves. And it just wasn't a, a sensible idea for five o'clock on a Sunday morning. Um, I mean, my car is shaking. It's that windy. It's probably about 30, 40 mile an hour gusts. It's, uh, it's just not cricket. So I'm going to drive up to the estuary, have a look, but I don't know. I think it's going to be one of those days. So I got up to the estuary and the water was really coloured. I tried for a little while with a clouser, kept getting weeded up, so eventually I did try an unweighted fly. Excuse the slightly extreme angle. Um, there's quite a bit to think about this morning. Um, water is a bit coloured which isn't any great surprise given the weather we've had the last couple of days um, <coughs> the tides are still out quite a way at the moment and it's probably not going to come in much more before I've got to get off uh, but I've been trying an intermediate line today and what I found is it sinks quite quickly so I moved from a Klauser to an unweighted fly um, and lost it on a snag, which was fun. Um, so I've switched again. I'm gonna head back up, up the estuary, get out of this wind a bit more. Maybe have half an hour just at the top. And, uh, yeah, hopefully just wink or something out so that it's not a blank. Got up to the top end of the estuary by the sort of marina. Um, the water was clearer um, and I tried sort of fishing up against the, the docks and around the boats, but didn't have any joy. Fished the estuary yesterday, didn't do any good. Um, but I've been chatting to a guy called Paul on Instagram. Uh, he is, or has, he is one of the like guides for the August saltwater events. And yeah, he suggested that I come down to Hailing Island this morning, and he was spot on. Um, wind was in the right direction. There were birds crashing around feeding. I saw a seal, um, but I haven't done any good, which is down to me you know um, but it's a beautiful place and I will definitely be back so when I arrived the first thing I noticed was um, birds crashing diving into the water so I pretty much headed straight over it was near the end of the channel so it was near the open sea and the tide kind of seemed to meet in two points like waves were coming from the left and the right which was a bit weird but I think that was kind of what was bringing all of the bait fish into one point and the birds were crashing there was definitely bass there, but with the tide and the wind, I just couldn't get my fly anywhere near them. Later on, I started fishing sort of up the channel. Um, it's quite deep and not a lot of movement, 
Um, if I did catch anything, I'd probably just been lucky to come across a patrolling fish. So I've come out this morning, a um, bit of a different mission. Um, decided to come back to where I see loads of mullet in the marsh where I actually caught my first bass. Um, and I've, yeah, I've actually caught one. Um, and it was epic, like using my little five weight glass rod. And uh, I caught a little golden gray, about a pound and a half, maybe, maybe pushing two pound. And it put up an epic scrap, like, no, it doesn't like it's so different to a trout. It's just so strong. I mean, trout are strong, but this was mental. I mean, it didn't do any screaming runs. I kept it in pretty tight, but yeah, really cool. So yeah, check it out. So I was fishing a size 12 uh, shrimp fly um, under a sort of bread fly indicator that I tied out of some packing foam. As I've been fishing, the indicator and the sort of tip of my fly line started to sink a little bit. So I just kind of started to slowly retrieve um, just to make keep contact with the line. No, 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 no. Oh, no, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh. Holy moly. Well, I can't quite believe it. But I've actually caught my first mullet. And what's even funnier is that the mullet's taken my indicator and I've got a tiny little bass on my flex on my shrimp fly. So there's the little bass, teeny tiny. And there it is. Not a bad first fish, I think. It could be a golden grey. Not 100%. There's some like gold flecks on its colour. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get it back. This is the five way glass rod and uh, it was a bit of a kind of 
tip from uh, some guys on Instagram. Um, a guy called Hector Rodriguez and uh, another guy called Josh Allen. Um, many others as well, but they kind of, you know, recommend the glass for mullet because it sort of helps with hookups and helps with um, not losing fish. And, you know, for my first mullet, I was half expecting to lose it. So who knows, maybe they're onto something. Um, but yeah, what a second fish to catch on it. Like, that was so cool. I guess that wraps this one up. So uh, tight lines, I'll see you in the next one.